Hello friends, this is our five minute warm up video to our second Megillah, Megillat Rut, the Book of Ruth. I'm really looking forward to gathering in two weeks on October 25th at noon. I want to encourage you to bring your lunch and in this gathering we're going to enter a beautiful world of um, loyalty and sisterhood among two inspirational women. And we're going to bring our own personal stories to our encounter with Ruth and Naomi. In this video, I want to give you a little bit of background and context for the Megillah. And I want to really encourage you to read it in its entirety before we gather in two weeks. Megillat Ruth is only four chapters long. It is a lovely narrative story. And whereas I personally felt that Kohelet, Ecclesiastes, was a little bit uh, uh, more philosophical than I would have liked to have begun this series with you all, Ruth, um, if you, I think it's going to be a lovely point of entry for us to take text and put it in the center of our sacred circle and draw some inspiration from it. So the book of Ruth uh, dates itself to the period of the judges. It is trying to tell us the backstory to King David. So King David is a very interesting figure uh, in the corpus of Jewish memory. As a character, we're told that he is a brave warrior, that he is a lover, um, that he is a musician, he is the youngest of seven brothers, and he is very much the chosen one. After King Saul has the right to the throne, serving as king of Israel taken away from him, God chooses David, and everything about our stories about him uh, let us know that he is really the chosen one. For the purposes of the book of Ruth, the most important thing for us to know about David is that um, the messianic line is attributed to him. So David is the progenitor of the Messiah, the Messiah in Jewish parlance being the idea that uh, in the biblical context, the sense is that a person will be born that will herald the dawn of a new age. Now, many of us in our own contemporary Jewish circles, we might talk about the messianic age as opposed to a Messiah figure. But originally, um, especially in a biblical context, there was an imagining of a messianic figure who would uh, who drew their lineage back to David. The book of Ruth is the story of David's great-great-grandmother. That will be very significant for us uh, because what we're going to find is that she is a surprising figure. She is not Jewish. And what you likely know is that in the narrative that we're going to study together in two weeks, we find the template for conversion, for the process by which one uh, joins the Jewish people, and we we find that template expressed in the loyalty between Ruth, a non-Jewish woman, and her um, mother-in-law. 